What's up guys? Hopefully all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make two salsa recipes. Now the first one is a shrimp salsa. Basically salsa with some shrimp in it, but not quite ceviche, but it's quick and easy. The second one is going to be a black and white bean salsa that's really easy and high in protein. And I made it and put it in this video because I know some of you can't eat shrimp. All right. So hopefully one of these recipes will be the one for you. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so let's start this salsa off with our fresh tomatoes. We got basil, you can use cilantro, avocados, garlic, lemons and limes, roasted corn and some red onion. I'm just gonna get going on chopping my tomatoes and my red onion and the goal here is to make sure that everything in the bowl is about the same size. Next, I'm gonna mince my garlic really fine because I just love garlic. I probably have about two or three large cloves. You could put less if you like. You don't have to put all of that in. Next, I'm gonna season up my shrimp or Grand Diamond Seasonings lemon pepper, which you can check out along with this recipe at gdseasoning.com. To make it easier on ourselves, we're just gonna saute the shrimp up in a hot skillet over medium high heat with about two or three tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm just gonna saute that up for about two or three minutes just till the shrimp turn pink. Halfway through the cooking time of the shrimp, I went ahead and added my minced garlic and I sauteed that up also, and it didn't burn, so you'll be fine with just sauteing up the garlic and the shrimp together. Once the shrimp are done, you're gonna move them to a plate along with the olive oil and all of the garlic and let everything cool while you finish chopping up the rest of your ingredients. So I went ahead and chopped up all of my basil, and then I'm gonna add some of my fire roasted corn, which is frozen, I get it from Trader Joe's. Just thaw it out and add it in. And peppers are optional, so if you got some jalapenos or serranos or habaneros laying around, go ahead and add some of those. I'm gonna add some lemon zest. I'm really pushing the lemon in this recipe because we have the shrimp going into the salsa and it's just gonna create a great tang that just cannot be denied with shrimp. And I'm gonna add even a little bit of lime. Now when it comes to dicing avocados, it can be done in the skin when the avocado is cut in half. If you think you're gonna cut your hand, uh, please put something in your hand like a mitt or even a silicone glove or something like that to protect your hand and then continue to use a paring knife to cut the avocado half the other direction and then all you have to do is spoon it out. I want to remind you guys to add the avocado last just before you serve it. The reason for this is because we have a lot of acid in the salsa from the tomatoes, the lemons, the limes, and even the seasonings that you end up using have citric acid. And that'll start to break the avocado down probably sooner than you want it. So this is just for presentation's sake, that's all. Now all we have to do is take our shrimp. I'm using shrimp that are sizes 31 to 40. So I had to cut them maybe three or four times. Like I said, you want everything in the salsa to be around the same size. What you can also do is get shrimp that are smaller and you can leave them whole. That's solely up to you. I was just using what I had on hand. After I chopped them all up, I stirred them right in and your salsa is done. Season it to taste, ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to our black and white bean salsa and I'm gonna start by cutting up some heirloom tomatoes. So that's why this tomato is a beautiful yellow color. This recipe also includes some roasted peppers. You can buy them already prepared in the jar or you can do it yourself if you like, but I like the jar, it's quicker. Just give those a chop. As for the rest of the ingredients, we have some more roasted corn, limes, avocado, cilantro this time, garlic, red onion, the heirloom tomatoes and roasted peppers. And of course the black and white beans. And after you've done all of your chopping, go ahead and add everything to a nice big bowl. I wanted to make sure I included a recipe for those of you who are vegetarian or cannot eat shellfish because I get that sometime when we use the shrimp. So here's an option for you. It's a high protein snack at that. So it's good for everybody all the way around. And in goes our black and white beans. If you can't find white beans, you can also use a cannellini bean. All right, so that will go good in this recipe. The recipe for this black and white bean salsa makes six cups of salsa, and that's quite a bit. So if you wanna make less, there goes our lime juice and lemon juice. Um, if you wanna make less, go ahead and make a half recipe. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that. I'll link it down below in the description. Finally, I'm just gonna give the salsa a nice big drizzle of olive oil and some seasoning to taste. I like these types of recipes because you have complete control over the ingredients and your seasonings and you can put more of what you like in, less of what you don't, or totally leave out certain ingredients. So have fun with it and enjoy it. As always, I want to thank you guys for coming and cooking with me and hanging out. You know I appreciate it. Don't forget these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com and I'll see you guys next time.